guys I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house well <clears throat> today is Sunday and I thought it would be a great uh, I thought it was be a great idea of course because I'm doing it but it would be great to do like a Sunday supper but I just didn't want to do supper it's kind of want to see, want you to see what I am doing around here while we are sheltering in place so um, I'm getting ready um, for Sunday dinner and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to make um, and then I was thinking about what I wanted to make for the remainder of the week so you know typically I cook for two days and I wanted something different being home every day is a lot it is a lot and so um, I'm, if it's a lot for me I'm sure it's a lot for you guys and I'm like, okay, Wani, so how are you going to prioritize everything? And I was trying to figure out what I wanted to make that would last us for the two days. And my dilemma is, and I started to get online with this and do a live, like just figure out what you guys were having for dinner. But I don't want any chicken. I don't want any fish. I don't want any pork. I don't want any, I kind of wanted some beef, but um, I didn't want like roast. And then I did want to roast and I didn't want to roast. And so then I thought, I said, like, oh, lamb would be really good. So I could have gotten some like lamb chops or lamb steaks. I thought about that. And then I didn't want to go outside. I am like in this thing about going outside and going to the stores and it really it is really freaking me out right now so um i ha have like really been limiting my time to the stores and when i go i have my gloves i have my mask on um i have my sanitizer in the car i also have my lysol disinfectant spray in the car and then i have um some wipes in the car and so I've been really um, like diligent about doing all of that stuff. So, and then when I come home, I have been taking off my clothes, putting them into the washing machine. And I've also been adding ammonia to it because you know, you can't bleach everything, but ammonia is a disinfectant. So I have been putting that in my wash. Um, particularly for when I've been going to the stores or anything like that. So, um, yeah, but my, my thing is, my dilemma today is what are we going to have for dinner tonight? It's going to last us two weeks. So we've had spaghetti. I've made chicken spaghetti um, with um, homemade um, ground chicken meatballs, which was amazing. I have some meatballs left over. And so later on in the week, I put them in the freezer now. So later on in the week, in the week we will be having um, meatball subs. And so that is how I, I work. Um, when I cook something, I cook it for um, two days. Whatever we don't eat in two days, I will freeze it because it's something I can always make with it. So a couple of weeks ago, about two weeks ago, I made... Um, um, what, did I, what did I do? I did a pork in the crock pot and a pork, a pork butt in the crock pot. So we did not eat all the pork butt. I put it in freezer bags, put it into the freezer. And so later on in the week, I am, we're probably going to have pulled pork sandwiches. I'm going to use part of it for pulled pork sandwiches. And then the other part will probably go in the freezer for another meal. And I'm thinking about doing like some um carnitas or some like um some um tacos or some shredded tacos or something like that so that is how i um like recycle especially like the protein and things you like that so what i decided to do because i went out to enter my freezer i'm like okay what can we make i have all this meat and things what can i make so i have some ground some ground um, beef here. And I got this from Aldi's a couple of weeks ago, don't know. But you see, it was $3 off, so I made sure. I had a couple of, I think I had two of these because when I got to Aldi's, these were the last two that was left. So I ended up paying $2.79 for this and I brought it home. 
and put it into the freezer. The other one, I guess we've already eaten, but so I have this one. And then I went to our other store and I had this ground beef right here. So I had these in the microwave and I had them on defrost. So they defrost partially. So now I just have them out so that they can continue to defrost. And I, it's 3.29 now, so about 4.15, 4.30, I'm gonna start cooking. And so what I decided to make for dinner is I am, we are going to have Salisbury steak with um, garlic, roasted garlic, mashed potatoes, and I am going to make the Salisbury steak with some mushrooms and onions, and then we are going to have steamed broccoli. So I had some broccoli that I picked up a couple of weeks ago. I cleaned it, cut it up, and I put them in my freezer bags. And so those are in the freezer bags right now. So I need to get um, a, a bag of those out because it made, I had like two heads of broccoli, so it made two freezer bags. So I'm just gonna go get those out and then I will um, put those in the steamer. A real quick, very easy um, meal we're gonna do, and we should be able to get it done in about an hour, 30, about 45 minutes to an hour. We're gonna roast our brock, we're gonna roast our garlic, and I'll show you how we do that. And yeah, so that's it. So when we get to that part, I just got finished eating, I wanted something um, to eat to kind of get me over until dinner and so I had this Chobani Greek yogurt I like this this is the um, this was the vanilla one I like this I used to didn't like vanilla but I love it now so um, I had this and I drizzled some honey on it so good so I had that and I also had um, a turkey sandwich with, with cheese on it was good so now I'm good that will get me over the hump um see what else do I have going on that I wanted to tell you about for today oh so this of course this is my birthday weekend and so um, I spent Friday with you guys on here live until my phone was about to die so we did that um, and thank you all who came on and wished me happy birthday I really appreciate um, you guys coming on specifically to wish me a happy birthday I am so blessed and happy to have you a part of my crew and um, so I did that um, I just got my my dad just came by here. He's so busy. But between him and my mom, my mom is kind of sheltering in place a little bit. Every now and then I call her, she and she out in the street. But um for the most part, she has been sheltering in place. My dad, on the other hand, mm-mm. Mm-mm. He he's so busy. He's so busy. But um he stopped by and he brought me a card. Let me show you. Okay, so this is the card. Isn't this a pretty card? Such a pretty card. And so he dropped this off for me because I'm the firstborn. He had never forgotten my birthday before, but this time he forgot my birthday. And I was like, dude, what? Where we do that at? And so and when I spoke to him on Friday, I said to him, it was something that he said to me. And I said, yes, today is April 3rd. And he said, yeah, I, yeah, I know. I said, yeah. And he started talking about something. I said, I said, yes, for April 3rd. And he's like, yes. And I was like, dude. So I did not tell him then that he forgot my birthday. And so um, Saturday, yesterday came and he stopped by here. And I said, you forgot my birthday. And he was like, I did not. Your birthday isn't here yet. It's not April 3rd. Oh my God. I said, yes, that's why I kept saying. <laughs> so it was so funny. He was like, I can't believe I forgot your birthday. And so he's always joking about Mr. B and I being old and how we're staying in the house or whatever. And I was like, mm, mm, look like somebody else is getting old. But it was just funny. So yeah, he brought me this card and then I got some 
birthday moolah. So um, I can't spend it, but I did. Um, I'm really thankful for it. And then I know my mom, she's already told me that she has something for me. So, and you guys saw my aunt who came in and she has something for me. So, yeah, I'm just really, I'm just really blessed for my family. I really am. Um, my mom says I'm a spoiled brat. I'm not. I'm, I, I really am not. I'm just loved. <laughs> but anyway, um, I am upstairs. I'm about to go upstairs. I'm editing a video um, for this week. And um, as you, I'm going to put a clip. Mr. B has been busy, so I'm going to put that in here so you can see what he's been doing. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know what he's been up to. So I'm going to put that in right here. All right, guys. So I want to show you what is going on here at Wani's house. And Mr. B is busy, y'all. So he is about to start painting up in here. Now I'm telling you, this is like the best thing to me about quarantine. Look at that, there he is. That's the man right there. Is that all the things that we wanted to get done are now beginning to get done. So he's began by prepping and doing all the taping here. He's starting, has to do up here and yeah this is what is about to go down so he's gonna be pretty busy this week and then here in this room this is what that's looking like all this stuff is what is going to the um Goodwill, the kidney services, all that. It was in the hall, so he's put it all in here. But yeah, all of this stuff is leaving. So, yeah. All right, look at him. Look at him. I like this. I'm gonna make him a big dinner. And he's working up an appetite, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. I gotta work for my food, America. Work, we'll work for food. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, I'll see you later. That end right here. And then the next time we come down, um, we're going to go ahead and start our dinner. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. I'll see you back in a minute. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and start with our um, roasted garlic. I'm going to set my stove to 400 degrees and we're gonna bake this for about 45 minutes and so we have that preheating so i'm just gonna take my knife here and i'm going to cut off just the top part of my clove exposing the top of the garlic. I just want to make sure that I'm trying to go as close as possible because I don't want to leave, discard any of the garlic. So I might have to go closer this way. There we go. Mm, it's breaking apart, but that's okay. It's because I'm really pushing down on it. Okay, so that was a mess, but here we go. Okay, so I should have went down further, but that's okay. We have this like this, and we have the garlic exposed, and we're going to use it just like this. Okay, so here are all the cloves. So what I want to do, I'm gonna get me some aluminum foil, place this on top of the aluminum foil. So normally this would just be, it'll be sitting up, but we are going to kind of maneuver this. 
so that we can have it. So I have some olive oil here. This is the last little bit of the olive oil that I have in this container. I have a larger container, but I just want to use this little bit that I had in here. Okay. And we're just gonna do the salt. And a little bit of salt. I've already done some freshly cracked pepper. And we're just gonna close this up and dip just like this. Gonna have this on this, oops, this baking sheet right here. And then once the oven is done preheating, we're gonna pop it in and we're gonna let it cook for 45 minutes. All right, so now we're ready to go. Here's my garlic and it is roasted. Guys, it smells so good. So look, that's what, look at that. Oh my God, and so we're gonna squeeze that. You're gonna, and I have, been, I have it um, just steaming in this um, over to the side now, probably for about 15 minutes. So it is cooled down now. This is our, both packs of our ground um, beef and I'm just gonna mix these together. One is 85, 25 or something like that and the other has a little bit more fat content. But we're just gonna mix both of these meats together. And I probably won't use all of this. What I will end up doing, what I don't use, I will, um, put it to the side and maybe we'll have burgers or something with it. But this right here is seeming to be a lot. It's just for us to have for two days. So, all right. So right here is some seasoning mix that I had. And what is in here is a little bit of um, granulated garlic, onion powder, black pepper, Himalayan sea salt, and um, Tony Shateri seasoning. So I have mixed this all up and I don't want to over season this because the last thing we want is for this to be like salty, overly salty. We just need it to be seasoned because we're also going to make a gravy. And so while this simmers in the gravy, it will begin to absorb those flavors. Okay. So over here, you will see I have my frying pan getting ready. And in the back, I have my water um, with some salt in there and that'll be boiling. That is going to be for our mashed potatoes. Okay, so back here is all that I'm gonna need for this. I don't need anything else. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and to and begin to assemble our patties. Let me put this over here. That is for our gravy. Okay. We're gonna see how big this is gonna be. I think that is a good size. For our Salisbury steaks that we're gonna make. Okay, we're gonna put that there. Roll it into a ball and mash it down. Now we want to try to get all of them um, around the same shape so they can cook relatively easy and at the same time, the same pace. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of these and then I'll come back 
when they're all done and then we'll see what we have left over okay so this is what we have for our cube steak and then this is what we have that's left over and so what I decided I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to put this in a freezer bag and I'm gonna freeze this and this is this is already seasoned. this is gonna be good for some chili to make some chili dogs with all right always thinking ahead always thinking ahead all right so we'll put that in the freezer bag and we'll be ready to go with that so over here we now have our um corn our corn our pan warming let me wash our hands have to wash our hands so we're gonna have our pans warming i'm going to line the pan with um just a a little bit of oil and that is just so even though this um, beef mixture has a combined it has a little bit of fat content so it's going to make its own fat but I don't want it to stick and um, so I just want to prevent any of that from sticking so I'm gonna bring this over here right here and I have a little bit of oil that I had when I used um, just some bacon fat actually just a little bit okay. that I ladle over in here and we can just Go ahead and begin putting down our meat. And I can go ahead and turn up my um, my fire a little bit. And I had it low because I wanted the pan to dry out and I didn't want it to be overly hot when I um, before I put the meat in. Okay. And then we'll have four more to place down here once those cook. So we're gonna partially cook these. They're not gonna be cooked all the way. So it'll be cooking, cooked maybe four minutes on each side until both sides are brown. And then um, it'll probably be in the internal It'll be probably like medium. And then, so we're gonna take them out when they're medium. And then once we put everything else together, then it'll cook in the sauce. Okay, so this is how I have cooked the meat. So it's not cooked all the way through as you can see. And we're gonna cook it right like this. This right here, I'm going to take off some of this oil because we don't need that much so we need like just just a little bit in here okay this is my onion soup mix love this stuff now it's rare that I use an entire pack of this because of the high um, salt content but um, I do use it all when I make my gravy. So this is what I do. And then I have some onions and some bell peppers. I didn't have any green bell peppers, so I'm just using what I have. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the oil to that. Okay. And just continue to move this all around. Okay. So, 
Now I have some sliced mushrooms. Add that. And I also had some of the juices in there, which will um, get up some of the goodness that is caramelized here on the bottom of the pan. <clears throat> okay. If you don't like mushrooms, you don't have to put mushrooms. We love mushrooms. Okay, so then I just added some, I made a slurry. And the slurry just consists of water and some cornstarch. You don't have cornstarch, you can use water and flour, okay? So I'm gonna pour this in here. And it's gonna instantly thicken. Now my heat on here is like on three, so we're gonna turn it on five. So it's thickening up, okay? Gonna get another, some more water. And as this thickens, we're gonna add some more water. See how that thickens up? It's a real pretty brown color. That's what we want. Okay, so that thickened. We're gonna add some more water. Thin that out. And then we're gonna add our meat back in here. Okay. So we're gonna bring this all back over here, put this in the sink. And now we're gonna add some more water and we're gonna add enough water to cover the meat. Now this may be also where you let it cook down a little bit and you go ahead and see if you might need any salt. You need to add some more salt to it. So we're gonna test that. Mm. Mm. That's gonna be good, but we do, we need some more salt. I'm gonna add a little bit, I'm add some more pepper. And I'm gonna add my um, Tony Shatari seasoning. Instead of adding just regular salt, we'll add that. Okay. That should be enough. Gonna place my top on here. And that's gonna cook down. And that's on like a medium heat we're gonna turn that here and now we're gonna go ahead and start working on our mashed potatoes right here i'm just gonna bring this back up to a boil because i took it off i took it off the fire off the heat and so what i want to do first is we're gonna start um with our um our roasted garlic okay okay so we have our roasted garlic here and this is just simple so simple we're just gonna squeeze all of that out just like that and it has such it goes from having like a bitter taste of garlic to a very sweet mild taste of garlic okay and that's it this right here we can throw away and so I'm using instant potatoes you can use homemade mashed potatoes I didn't feel like doing that not today so I 
have some instant um, potatoes. I've already we've salted our water. We're gonna bring the potatoes back to a boil. And in our potatoes, we're we want we don't want it to taste like um box potatoes. That is what we don't want. So we're going to add <clears throat> real butter and we're going to add heavy cream. If the heavy cream is too much for you, you can definitely use half and half. I have half and half in there, but I want to use the heavy cream, okay? Okay, so this is coming to a boil right now. I have my whisk. Just going to pour this in here, and I'm probably going to use all of this. Let's see. It's just gonna get thick very, very quick. Okay. Okay, let me turn that off. This is a half of a, um, a stick of butter. Okay. That is going to melt. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this, or you can add milk, but I just need to thin this out a little bit more to get it so that I it can be how I like it and how I like to work with it. So that's gonna melt up. Add a little bit more water. Just a tad bit. Okay. There we go. Then I'm going to add some half, and I mean, sorry, some heavy cream. thing that I want to do right here with this is I want to chop it up a little bit or make it into like a, a spread. Let's see. Let's see my the knife that I need. Uh, here it is. Okay. So this. So I just want to chop it up a little bit. It's real creamy. So I just want to make sure that I cream this out. Like that. Okay. Bring it over here. I'm gonna add that to the pot. And while this is thickening back up, this is gonna make this. The flavors are gonna be incredible. Last thing I need to add is some black pepper and I need to ground some more peppercorn here. I hate I'm taking you guys back and forth with the tripod, but Get a couple of peppercorn. I love, I tell you guys this every time, I love fresh cracked pepper. There's nothing like it. Okay, that's what that looks like. 
bring that back over here. I'm gonna add Excuse me. All right. Try to taste some of this. I'm gonna make sure this is salted. Hmm. Perfect. All right. So only thing we have to do now is let this cook, simmer, thicken, come to a bar, a boil for about 30 minutes, and then this is ready. All right, so I have my pot here. This is the pot that I'm going to use to steam the broccoli. This is the broccoli that I cut up, I wash, cut up, and I put it in my freezer bag. See, I wrote broccoli on it. So in my pot here, what I, I'm going to add is some salt to steam the broccoli and place my steamer on the top. And I don't think we'll need all of this. I have another bag of it, but this is pretty full. Okay, so that is about all that we'll need for that. And then the last thing that I want to add to this is a lemon. Okay. Wash my lemon. I, and I washed them already. But I just wanted to make sure see my knife and I'm just gonna cut just a couple of rounds of lemon to steam that and that's it place this on here and this is going to steam on low until it's ready All right, so this is Sunday supper. This is what we're having. So we have the Salisbury steak with the mushrooms, onions, and um, bell pepper. We also have the garlic mashed potatoes with the gravy. And then we have some steamed broccoli that is steamed to perfection. I'm gonna add a little pat of butter on here and um, dinner will be served. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to Wani's house, I would love for you to subscribe. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming uploads. And guys, come and check me out over on my Instagram. You can find me over there at Wani's house just like it is here. Hit that follow button and you will be in the know as to what is to come over here at Wani's house. So guys, I'm about to go. But before I do, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.